next week, the NBA returns. And I gotta tell you, I am quite intrigued on what the NBA will do this year. You know, again, it's their 75th anniversary. And I'm gonna be watching most of these opening week games. It's gonna be a very fun time, I'll tell you that much. And in the long run, you know, hopefully I'll keep, you know, keep the momentum up on these Saturday and Sunday nights, you know, late in the season, you know, after the NFL gets, you know, done and everything like that. So I'll be, I will be, you know, making videos throughout the season. There won't be as many, you know, with the NBA, but I mean, I love the NBA. Uh, I mean, it, it, my love for it has waned a little bit in the past couple years, but I, I, again, I love the NBA. I, I, I still do. So... There are a couple of big things coming into the season that I have some issues with, uh, and a lot of people do as well. First things first, let's get it started with Kyrie Irving. Now, I gotta tell you, it's his, it's his choice. It's a stupid choice to not get vaccinated, but it's, it's, it's a choice. You know, it's gonna it's gonna impact him as you know it goes on. We'll see if he plays or not. You know, early to start the season. I, I don't remember what the schedule looks like the opening week of the season, but I mean, it, it's it's something's got to get done about that. You're not gonna you're not gonna be able to travel around the country like that. You got to get vaccinated. You know, most DCBA players, you know, have been vaccinated, if not all of them already, if I'm not, I'm not mistaken. Uh, the other one is Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons has, you know, he's been, you know, holding out for some reason. You know, you know, he he just hasn't, he just doesn't want to be a 76er anymore. He he wants to, you know, get on up out of there. He wants to get out. And I mean, you know, Doc Rivers can say whatever he wants to say, but I mean, if Ben wants out and he wants to go somewhere else, then I mean, he is free to do so. You know, a lot of things are going about, well, you, it's about the player and their, their limitations and stuff like that. I mean, players just don't want to be, if you don't want to be in a work environment like, you know, Philadelphia, the 76ers have trusted the process for so long and it, look where it got them. No rings. It got, it hasn't gotten them any rings yet. And it's not getting the video rigs anytime soon, in all honesty. You know, I don't have a finals prediction this year because you know things have been gotten so topsy turvy. Remember, the NBA reapproved the uh, the uh, tent the play in tournament for this year, so that makes things a lot more interesting this year. Uh, gotta say, Steph Curry was shooting it lights out in a preseason game. Why? Uh, is, is that going to be him in the, in the regular season? I have no idea. We all know the West is stacked. You know, my Mavs are there. You know, the Nuggets are still there. I mean, the West is stacked. But a lot of people are saying it's the Lakers' time again. And, and you know, you know, we said this last year, and I, I, even I predicted the Lakers would go to the NBA Finals last year. I'm not doing it this year. I'm not, I'm not falling for the trap. Because, I mean, you know, Lakers got LeBron, they got Anthony Davis, they got Russell Westbrook, they got the whole combination out there. And I got to tell you, it, 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 it's a deadly combo, you know, of older NBA stars, you know, out there. Definitely, L.A. is trying to become the new Arizona, the new retirement home for, you know, stars that are past their prime and stuff like that. Guys that are not, you know, at their peak anymore, or at least their, their peak is declining a little bit. I shouldn't say that they're at their peak or rather not like that. But I mean, the, the Lakers are going to be an interesting case this year as well. You know, got to follow what Brooklyn's doing with the whole Kyrie situation in Philadelphia. They're in a weird spot. Milwaukee is looking to repeat. Remember, you know, they won the finals. Phoenix is still, you know, lurking. You know, definitely vengeful for that loss. You know, with Chris Paul and everything like that and all those guys out there. Um, Again, the NBA is stacked once again this year. You know, I, I was a little bit lukewarm. You know, very much mixed on my you know takes with the play in, but I think it might help this year. I'm not. Again, I'd rather see the top 16. I think I've said this many times already. Top 16 teams, regardless of conference, in the NBA playoffs, it would make it much more interesting. Or top 12 because that that's also even better. But whatever. It is what it is there. 
that's all I gotta say about the NBA as far as opening season storylines go. Again, I'll be watching throughout opening week and you know a couple games before Christmas. You know, I'll be I'll be back with the NBA content, you know, around Christmas time or something like that. So, you know, y'all I hope y'all y'all, you know, have a good season. If you're betting on the NBA this season, make sure, you know, you be responsible with it. See? Playing fantasy basketball, but, well, well, there's nothing really to say about playing fantasy basketball. I mean, who actually plays fantasy basketball? Does anybody actually do that? Like I've seen it, but I mean, I just don't know. I'm not even gonna do that, you know. Just, just be, just be completely honest with y'all playing fantasy basketball. But I mean, uh, it's it's gonna be a weird season. I'll tell you this much. I'll tell you this much. 75th anniversary for the NBA. Let's do this, guys. We got a long season ahead to get to June to get to the NBA finals. I'm ready for it. I'm ready. Are you ready for it? Tell me if you are. Just tell me who your favorite team is. I mean, I mean y'all, y'all should know by now that I'm a Dallas guy. So uh, you know, I'll go with the Mavs and Luca and stuff like that. So again, I'll take care. I'll see you guys very, very soon with more content. And see you later.